Hello there and welcome to Planet of Lana, which is an adventure story game where our planet is invaded by aliens and we will have to try our best to save it and the people in it as well. So this is our village, this is where Lana has grown up with her sister Elo and here is the local granny that cooks for all of us and it is also our first mission where we kind of have to try and pass her but for some reason if she notices us we uh, immediately fail so it took us a couple of tries but here we go we've gone past it and we're trying to follow Elo now. We're headed up to our usual hangouts place and here's our second puzzle. The cliff is a little bit too high but not to worry we can bring this cart a little bit closer and uh, it appears that this might be the graves of our parents <laughs> whilst we were hanging out on the cliffs we noticed the meteor shower only to discover and learn very quickly that these were no meteors at all but instead the invaders that quickly snatch up Elo and take her away now in our next mission over here we face some uh, smaller little robots and we also learn that if we make a small mistake then it will punish us very quickly Jump, 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 jump. Ooh, that was close. Whilst walking through the village, we noticed several other robots picking up all of our friends and family and taking them away. It also appears that any other small robots that we meet on our journey, they do not really want to let us progress at all. But we do manage to go past a few of them through those little caves in here. And this brings us to the end of the first day. It is now day two and we resume the search for... And we also learned that the wildlife in these parts of the forest is perhaps not as friendly as we would have thought so. Jumping over those wild boars, Pumbaa over here does not seem to like. So we'll try a different uh, strategy. We'll hide in the tall grass and there we go. Throughout our day we face many interesting challenges and little puzzles that we have to solve in order to progress further into the lore and the story. As we run through the forest we notice more of those harvested robots taking away potentially more inhabitants of this world. We meet another pig and just like the previous ones this one ain't very friendly either and we end up dying quite a, quite a few times until we finally figure out a way how to do this properly and as we run it looks like this pig is gonna jump as well but no the gravity was a little bit too strong so the piggy falls down and uh, goes straight to sleep which works out very well for us as we get to progress through the forest. Oh no, the music just got very, very interesting. It's kind of like when you have the first boss fight. As we run through the forest, we encounter the very first animal that does not want to kill us, but instead is chasing this lovely little butterfly. Although it would have been smarter to leave this animal contained, it appears that the game had other plans for us instead. So there we go. The animal is now released and we try and figure out how to get up on this cliff as well. For some reason we decide to chase this little creature and we get to a spot where it seems to be cornered by a robot which does show us that these guys are not teamed up and we decide to try and free this little fella. However, the journey to that is not very easy. We do figure out a way how to get up on this cliff but the robot has spotted us so we try and crawl through this narrow little space which fortunately due to the junkiness of this robot we seem to succeed but oh no. We might have opened that gate a little too early and ended the life of our new friend. But not to worry, we are persistent and eventually manage to lead ourselves to safety, which was a very short-lived as the robot keeps chasing us and pushes us off the cliff. I mean, that landing must have been painful. Yep, indeed, the landing was very painful and we seem to be in our dreamlands, visiting Elo once again. Fortunately, we wake up pretty soon after the little accident. <laughs> little fella has not abandoned us and instead has been overlooking us and keeping us safe.
We learn that his name is Mue and we finally have a companion that will follow us on our adventures and not just follow but they will also help us out. Now here's an example why you should never trust the strangers. We've only known Mui for a little while but he's already been eaten by this rock monster. In our next location we learn that Mui does not like electricity at all so therefore we are gonna have to find a way how to turn the power off before we can continue the adventure. As we progress through those levels, the puzzles do also get a little oh no. more difficult. Run. However, we do learn different ways of how to fight back and overcome the obstacles. Now, on this cliff over here, we get very distracted by this mothership that seems to be communicating with other robots. And as we progress, we make a bit of a mistake. That's what happens when you get a little bit too distracted, but not to worry. It seems we were supposed to fall down anyways. We do end up in the caves and fortunately Mui can help us illuminate nice. the way through this dark and uh, scary place. Unfortunately these caves also mean that we are gonna have to deal with uh, different kind of animals and obstacles but fortunately although spiders are not the favorite of ours they are afraid of light and we progress through this area pretty quickly. As we progress through the cave, we are mesmerized by the inscriptions and drawings on the walls, which lead us to another major puzzle. It takes us quite a bit of time to figure this one out. Oh yeah, the music has changed, that's always a good clue. But eventually, we do prevail. Oh wow. It seems like we get a reward. Is this an from Mui, or is this... He's gonna level up. Sadly, Mui did not level up. However, we do discover some of his other powers, which seem to be mind controlling the creatures that live in the shadows. Elo! I don't think we're gonna find Elo. But I guess it's worth a, worth a try. Although we don't find Elo just yet, we do discover that Mui unfortunately is very afraid of water. And in order to cross this pond, we are gonna have to find alternative ways how to get Mui across safely. <sighs> Fortunately, nature has provided us with locks that we can use, or if that doesn't work, we can always mind control those creatures to figure out our way. As we progress through the swamp, we discover an alien ship, hoping that this will give us some clues as to what has happened before and where to find Elo from. Elo! Now we don't quite fancy having spiders around us, so this time we decide to turn them into a barbecue instead. This leads us to the next room, which appears to be uh, some kind of a navigation tool for the aliens. Now, we don't know if it's the same aliens that are attacking us right now. However, we do see that they have traveled a long way to reach our planet. And just before they reach the planet, I'm not sure if something happened to the ship or we just lost the power to see the rest of the story. Somehow, we seem to be able to use this alien console over here, which confirms that these robots are indeed related. However, they show less hostilities towards us. Oh wow, okay, a few of those guys are alive and they're thinking, welcome back boss. After we've successfully hacked the console over here, it does seem to present us with yet another gift. The bracelet we were given in the previous room does not unfortunately help us in the next puzzle, where we have to go through different levels and stages to escape this zone. But fortunately, with the help of Mui, we are able to cut the electrical wires just on time as we turn off the power. Yellow bringing over that little elevator, we finally escaped the zone. This marks the end of the abandoned spaceship level. We do find a little raft and go for a little journey. I'm very glad that Lana nor Mui can see what lurks under the seas.
Reaching the shore has never felt so great again, and we find the remains of some very massive creatures. Moi does yet again help us do a bit of mind control, and we find this little interesting patch over here, but that unfortunately is not friendly at all. Not to worry, we do use mind control on these robots, we hack into their systems and eliminate those threats. We reach another village, but unfortunately all of the villages are taken away as well. The next level of puzzles sure tests our patience as we have to time our escape with multiple drones patrolling the areas. Plenty of time. Mission completed, we witnessed the migration of aliens before reaching oh, the no. boss of the next level. And of course the boss of this level had to be a ginormous spider who ends up eating us quite a few times. I bet he also knows what we've done to his cousins just a few levels before. Quite a bit of time passes before we realize how can we take control of the situation again and this is where Moi takes over and single-handedly defeats the spider boss. You can do this. I think we beat him. Okay. The spider boss is gone and the next few scenes are a bit hopeful, a bit sad, but also puts us in the perspective of how vast this landscape is as well and how resilient Lana is in her mission to find her friends and free Elo of course. We've made it this far together to the end, the achievement says. Wow. The next level has now started, we are in a desert and it seems we are facing a lot more mechanical puzzles where we have to flick different switches, play with elevators, lifts and of course robots. What is cool is that we get to use magnets, trap those flying little robots, use those magnets as lift, fly through different doors, stick Mui on top of this robot here as well to fly him to the safety, Don't let go. avoid the massive fans that would otherwise suck Mui into them, and we get to fly around with Mui, cut different cables and help ourselves to safety. Whilst we may be the masters of the puzzles, uh, fate unfortunately had other ideas and plans for us. A ginormous rock has broken us apart. With Lana on one side, Mui on the other, threatened by this robot, it seems that Mui's days are numbered. Despite being devastated, Lana does not give up and fights through this sandstorm before losing all her energy and falls on the ground. We're back in the land of dreams, looking for Elo, and just as we reach her, we seem to wake up again. <laughs> Seems like someone has rescued Lana. Lana. Raquen. Raquen. Tatani. Lana. Pama omena. Moi. Elo. Tilai. Lana. All right, absolutely no idea what those guys were saying other than introducing themselves to each other, but um, it also appears that Araquen is somewhat of a scientist that has been working on those robots to try and reprogram them with the hopes of obviously working for him and perhaps against the invaders. And with Lana's help, we do seem to figure out a way how to make them talk to us. We have cracked the code. Are you saying we've lost Mui and now this robot becomes our new friend? It's even got a saddle on it. Wait, are we gonna be able to ride this thing? Oh, yes. Taking the robot taxi sure seems like a lot of fun and gets us much quicker close to our final goals and destination. It is no easy task, however, as we get chased down by hundreds of different robots. But we are resilient, we persist until it seems our taxi has no. or was overloaded. We do seem to get lucky yet again, slide down the little hill there, find a space shuttle, hide ourselves in it and 
we make our way towards the mothership. They're collecting everything. Look, we got spiders, we got pigs. This is exactly like the war of the world where humans were harvested. Oh no. Right, so that drone is gonna come any minute. Go, 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 go. Yet another close encounter with the drones, and it was very sad to see all the wildlife being blended up. Oh yeah, if we pull this back to the other side, we can lift it up. The system's gonna think, hey, there's another animal waiting there. Then we're gonna push Moy out. Let's grab the huge magnet looking thing. Okay, lovely. Now hold on to this, drop it. Let's get thrown again. We're gonna push this one down here. Hold on. This could have ended badly. Back together, freeing Moy is the next achievement. I've gotta say, this is a happy moment indeed. Operational. Moy, do you trust me? I certainly don't. Uh, no, press this one first. Oh dear, can't believe we did it in one go. The next level through the warehouses seems to bring us to some kind of a nursery where all the little ones from the human world are looked after by the robots now. The ship seems to be very empty and quiet over here, so perhaps we are getting closer to our friends and family. And here we go, we managed to locate everyone else and to our surprise, they are actually well looked after. Everyone's got their single individual rooms and it also seems they've got some kind of taps of, uh, oh, this must be the spider and big shoes. But anyways, we finally Ilo? found Elo. Shouting probably wasn't the smartest of ideas as we get spotted by some of those robots and they've also already rung the alarm bells. We fall down another big cliff which seems to be infested by different kinds of robots and although we try our hardest, we too seem to struggle quite a bit but not to worry we are persistent we carry on and we prevail leading us to the final boss a massive orb in the middle of the room that's gonna blast us if we stay out in its way it does take us a bit of time to figure out how to progress through this level and we of course get cooked a couple of times in our attempts hit it what? Oh, that was so close. Jump, hit it. Oh wow, that's good. Go, 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 go. We finally reach the other side, press the button, which brings out yet another orb. Jump, go. The final push has started. Lana and Mui together against this giant alien orb. Fight this big orb with a small, tiny orb that we have. It's called the power of love. Okay, I'm tapping it as fast as I can. That only takes E. Okay, here we go. Let's press that as well. Big giant energy ball. You got this. Mui's gonna do some damage as well. Look at that. He's just beaming this light from his eyes, or so I hope. And here we go. Mui, what are you doing now? Oh no, he's gonna become the evil villain. What are you doing, Moi? Oh. Oh no. What's gonna happen to those guys now? They just... Oh, they just power off. Oh, so maybe the bracelet's gonna heal him. Unfortunately, it seems Moi has given everything to save Lana, Elo, and everyone else that lived on that planet. A noble sacrifice, indeed. Heartbroken and devastated, Lana decides to sing him Mui one final song before he goes his way. To her surprise, the bracelet seems to respond to her singing and something magical is about to happen. Maybe Mui is like conscience or, or spirit has transferred into something else. Maybe this is Mui now. Without Lana knowing it, 
she has unleashed a vast amount of energy across the whole planet. Bringing all those robots back to life again. Fortunately, with a clean and wiped memory. And through the power of love, Mui is also back again. Oh wow, Mui's back. So this brings us to the end of this story, this beautiful little adventure that we had. The robots are now working for the villagers, helping them to rebuild everything and make their lives better as well. We quickly finished the granny that doesn't seem to be bothered by us anymore. And we find Elo in our favorite spot. I hope you've enjoyed this story just as much as we did. And if so, do let us know if there's any other similar games that we could try as well. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope we meet again in the future.